Hello and welcome to Chess of Blades, or sort of more of welcome back to Chess of Blades. Because for anyone who happens to remember or happened to have been around at the time I recorded the demo of this when I had like 20 subs. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll just have a link in the description of the time I played the demo. Which, gosh, what was it? It was a while back since I played, I don't remember. Um, but... Argent Games, uh, the developers of this game, contacted me, just to give you info, uh, they were the one who contacted me, or the first developers contacted me to play their demo. And so their game is now released, though for some reason, as of this recording, it's not available yet on Steam, but you can still get it over on Ichio, which I'll, again, also have a link in the description for you guys to check out. Because a lot of this thing already looks different compared to when I played it from the demo. And when I check the preferences or options, uh, they have voices now. So I'm definitely going to start from the beginning of the game again. Even then, um, I don't know why, but I guess my demo file is still here. <laughs> it doesn't work, but for some reason it's still here. Oh, March 9th. That's when it was. That's when I played their demo. Uh, so yeah. As far as I could still remember, as for if you're interested in knowing, um, what we're getting ourselves into, uh, besides that being a visual novel, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like some 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 sort of murder mystery occurs at this royal party, uh, that you kind of get swept into, and I think your character, or the, the main character, Riven? Uh, I think. I want to say his name is Riven. I could be wrong. Uh, but I believe um, he's like the son of like a really good general. And so it, this kind of whole situation puts him up to the task of figuring out if he's going to do well or have people view him as a good general for later. Faye doesn't like parties! Uh, so yeah, that's like all I can really remember. I just know it seemed like as soon as the demo ended, it got to the more interesting bit. I'm like, dang it, I gotta wait till the game's out. But thankfully, the developers uh, gave me a key to this to the game, because I wanna say their game is like $24? $25? I could be wrong. I'll probably have the actual pricing somewhere on the screen, so I'm not wrong. Uh, but yeah. So let's get this started, and uh, if there's an opening that plays for this game and it doesn't work, um, hopefully I can find the opening for the uh, somewhere on the internet. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get started. I'm going to if that is there's opening. Um, calm down. My hair is perfect. It has to be. I spent four hours grooming myself earlier. Oh God, God help me. Now isn't the time to stage fright. Go on, I'll pull, your, pull yourself together. I take great pleasure in presenting our next guest. I was kind of expecting, like, potentially all of it to just be me having a radio thing. Holy shit. <laughs> I was not expecting the announcer. I don't. Was there an announcer in the demo? I don't know. Straight up, look presentable. Smile. The sole heir of our beloved Lord and Lady Barrison. I don't know, I know it's just the announcer, but holy shit, that sounds great. <laughs> Something about finding voice or uh, actors voicing individual summer sounds great. I don't know why. Uh, deep breath, deep breath. Here it comes. Rivian Barrison. Yeah, it was right. It was brilliant. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I bet they're going to laugh at my hair. Well, go on already. Laugh, stupid blondie puffed up nobles. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, well, they're not laughing. Why can't you be an upstanding son like that? You're a shame to this family. Who the hell is that? Okay. What a charming young man! 
You must introduce yourself to him after this really attack. He's Varison's boy. Hmm, I should speak with him later. I just realized I probably shouldn't be using my mouse because it's gonna skip. I just realized that. Uh, smile, smile. Pretend you want to be here. I'm pretty sure it's not going well to show that you want to be there. Uh, no, this is bad. Where are you going now that I'm here? There's no pro call for this, is there? <sighs> I just want to go home. Sir, I have been requested to bring you upstairs when you arrive. I don't know, I feel like for some reason the art seems more updated. I don't know why. Maybe it's due to the fact that I've not seen this game in since March. I don't know, the art looks better now? <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I just need a break from it and just be like, yeah, it is really good looking. <laughs> uh, but anyways. <laughs> Sharply dressed man, a servant? Suddenly approached with my side. Bending forward slightly in a bow. Are you sure you have the uh, right person? Yes, sir. You are Sir Rivian, are you not? Oh, I need to hear her own voice again. <laughs> um, given a suspicious nod, am I about to be wielded into some marriage proposal? Excellent. This way, sir. Right. But he's not said enough for me to figure out his voice. Parmy feels like his voice isn't what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> not saying it's bad, I'm just like, that's not what I imagined it was. <laughs> but okay, still works. Not what was in my head. Uh, I fell into s I fell into a step behind the well-dressed servant, gazing all around me as I go. It seemed more spectacular than I thought it'd be. So many people in so many lavish outfits. The cost of that woman's dress probably outweighs our whole kingdom's treasury. Also, is it just my imagination? Aren't people staring at me? I'm pretty sure it's your imagination, Riven. <laughs> also, is uh, I just better read something. Uh, is my hair that bad? I really thought I'd done it properly. Can you introduce yourself later, darling. <laughs> okay. Things fall out to pass. I feel like I messed up the sun. Um, so far it seems to be moving along Here much are, quicker sir. than when it was in the demo. So I feel like it was the same pacing, it's just stare at the same image for too long back in the demo, I think? Uh, here we are. Er, never mind, he's set. I'm not used- <laughs> Despite me finding Vision Model's voice- Overs or voice actors playing the characters. I still don't really. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need to speak when they speak. <laughs> uh, the servant stops after we and the, the stairs leading to the overlooking balcony. Turn around to face me with another bow. I appreciate it, but um, why did you take me here again? Yeah, why did we come up here? <laughs> and like he said, as the butler opens his mouth to reply. Riv! Over here! <laughs> um. Okay. Is that, is that whose voice I think it is? No, that's impossible. The gentleman who requested you is over there, sir. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay. And. What's this again? <laughs> I like vaguely remember. Uh, after his consciously polite words, the servant turns and elegantly descends the staircase once more. Before I could turn back around, a firm tug pulls at my arm. Grivian! I know you remember me, it's only been four years. He looks different. <laughs> I think? I don't know. Gosh, I'm not playing the... I've not seen the demo for so long. I, I don't know, he seems much different. I don't remember him having purple. Or maybe he did, I, and I just simply suck at remembering shit. <laughs> uh, but the familiar face of an energetic man appears in front of me. Oh, I remember you alright, Arden. He doesn't seem pleased. 
<laughs> Don't you look a little happier to see your old friend? You have the expression of a man at a funeral, not at a dance. <laughs> With a sulky frown, he nudges my shoulder with a hand. I'd forgotten that this man doesn't know the phrase personal space. How did you know I'd be here? No. More importantly, why are you here? Weren't you serving in the king's army? I was, yes. Until I was promoted to serving in his royal guard. His over-enthusiasm incites in me a strong desire to punch him. <laughs> you only got the job because your father's a duke, you bastard. Mm, I'm so proud of you. Shouldn't you be on duty rather than frolicking around, then? <laughs> I'm liking Rome a little bit more than I thought it was. <laughs> he doesn't need his whole force for a week-long retreat, you know. I was given permission to attend as a guest. Oh, right. I forgot that this damn celebration lasts five whole days. How am I going to make it back alive? Which... It being five days makes me wonder how long this game is per route. Did Lord and Lady Varison not come with you? You look a little lost and alone. It, hmm. Yeah, the pacing seems much different than I remember from the demo, because I believe that was already mentioned. Like, early on in the demo? It's strange. <laughs> it's good. But I'm like... I don't know if I'm just terrible at remembering <laughs> that I thought, or I'm just like, they've changed it quite a bit since the demo. Piss off! I'm just not used to being around so many noisy people at once, that's all. Last thing I want him to know is that it's the first grand event I've attended by myself. I'd never hear the end of his ridiculous teasing. Going back to my previous question, how on earth did you know that I'd be coming to the party? You're the new center of attention, that's why. <laughs> Everyone loved and respected your father so much when he worked as the king's chief general and strategist. It's only natural his newly marriageable son catches the public eye. He winks and gives me a pointed nudge. It's people like you who make me want to wear spikes on my clothing, Arden. <laughs> I mean, that might make people still stare at you probably more than just your hero, driven. <laughs> As we talk, I notice the crowd is starting to gravitate towards the large bar doors in the main floor below. Are we going to see the next character that we're probably going to be able to uh, get in their pants? <laughs> be more precise how this game will probably go. Uh, I guess it means it's about time for that. That? The thought makes me feel slightly nauseated. What's that? In that case, I should extract myself before I get dragged into anything. Well, there'll be plenty of time Is for us dance? to catch up later. In the meantime, where are they keeping the wine? Ah, oh, well, it's over by the terrace doors. But the dancing's about to start, you know. Aren't you coming? Okay, so that is what I was referring to with the dancing. Okay. Yeah, it seems so much different than the demo. <laughs> I'm, I'm like expecting certain things to occur, but I'm like, oh, that's different. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what? Oh. We act. Oh, wait, what? Cause I don't remember ever getting a choice in the demo. <laughs> I don't remember there was a choice. It was just like, here it is. That's the whole thing. Uh, maybe some other time. Ugh. Just to not be completely rude. <laughs> I grunt, swallowing the vehement refusal I want to offer as a reply. Arden looks so pleadingly expectant. <laughs> words. I suck. Expectant that even my frigid heart is incapable of shutting him down so mercilessly. The idea of dancing, however, makes my stomach turn much more than Arden's puppy dog eyes can move me. I, uh, you know, still a little sore from the carriage ride and all that. Some other time, perhaps. 
I wish you the best of luck, though. Tear up that ballroom floor in my honor. <laughs> Riv, wait! Oh, okay, I just don't wait for him to res for his response, I guess. Uh, before he grab a hold of my arm again, I quickly retreat and make a beeline for the wine table. But I soon get immersed in the crowd, heading in the opposite direction in a sea of la lacy, la lacy dresses. There we go. <laughs> Surrounds me in a fury of fluttering. Boy, hell, how can there be so many people in one place? Come dance with me, darling. Uh, I already have a date. Sorry. Sorry. I love his response. <laughs> Somehow I managed to evade the overly aggressive women from earlier, her lips twisting into a sour pout after I hastily decline. The crowd thins out as most of them head down to a grand staircase, and I finally wore my way over to the terrace doors. <laughs> Oh, what I wouldn't give to be at home right now, curled in my warm bed with a book. Still can't believe father and mother sent me all the way out here by myself. They know I don't do well at parties, so they send me to a five-night extravaganza of extravagance. Cruel, cruel parents. At least you're here for me, my sweet ambrosia. I guess it's fine with wine. <laughs> I guess. Uh, slightly grateful, I pick up a glass that's already filled with dark red liquor. Liquid. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, sign gratefully, I pick up a glass that's already filled with dark red liquid. Not liquor. Uh, I was never allowed to drink much when I attend balls with my family, so I'll be damned if I don't make the most of this. No way, already outside. Ooh. Grand celebration of the king's birthday. Almost a full week of parties, dancing, games. I even heard there's a festival. Out here in the mountains, the royal family retreats is... Royal family's retreat is more of a miniature town than anything. There's shops, market stalls, temporary houses, and a jousting area. Reno. All set up for this occasion alone. I suck at speaking. <laughs> so I'm sorry. For slaughtering words and sentences here and there. And of course, there's the pictures picturesque castle we're in right now. Only a fraction of the size of the actual castle in the capital city, but still magnificent. Still, it took five days to travel here by carriage. Why the hell does it have to be a so remote? I feel like I'm in some kind of secluded prison or something, even if it's an admittedly lavish one. What have I gotten myself into? Uh, five nights of hell. <laughs> Probably. Uh, take a long drink of my saving grace. I head over to the balcony, railing to gaze down at the empty floor below. It looks a lot different now that almost all the guests have gone into the ballroom. I could hear the muffled sound of music from behind the grand doors. I think I'll just make myself inconspicuous until we've shown to our rooms. Maybe just hide under the covers for the next few days. <laughs> Is it the little girl? Someone whispering? I turn my head sharply to search for the source of the noise, but I can't see anyone. Are there? Are they on the terrace? I whirled around and attempt to catch the whispers of the guard, but no one's there. <laughs> Probably just some young couple exchanging dirty lines under their breath. Wait a second. Are we gonna meet the next guy? I wish they weren't acting so eerily stealthy about it, though. Is something the matter, sir? Yeah. Nope, never mind. Okay. Servant's suddenly standing beside me again. Speaking of eerily stealthy, how did he sneak up like um, that? No, nothing's the matter. <laughs> Just enjoying some private time with my bow. Is it? That's what. Okay, I was not expecting that's how you say it, but okay. I've never heard of it either, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
much to my wine and offer a firm nod. I see. May I ask if you managed to meet with Sir Arden? He was very excited about seeing you. Yeah, I was. Ah, uh, yes. I met up with him, all right. <laughs> he really does not like him. By the attitude. If I may be so bold, you do not seem overly thrilled with the prospect of his company. Words, hold on. Pierce. I saw. Pierce. Piercing. My lips has. Hesitantly. Oh my god. Kill me now. God dang it. I tap a fingernail against the glass in my hand. It's a little more complicated than that, but I don't particularly want to discuss the details. Of course. I apologize for intruding on your private affairs. However, Sir Arden pulled me aside again and requested you join him in the ballroom. Oh. Well, I'm not joining him in the damn ballroom. He can find someone else to bother. The vehemency, the vehemency of my reply makes the servant blink in surprise, and I immediately feel a little sheepish for my outburst. Well, his majesty at least would not wish you to dance if you did not want to. I am certain. I clear my throat, nodding a little awkwardly in reply. I suppose I really shouldn't snap at this poor butler, considering it's not his fault art of insufferable louse. How long does the dance last, out of curiosity? Well, this is already the second dance of the night, my lord. His majesty enjoys letting his noble guests have time to mingle and refresh themselves in between. The schedule of festivities for the remaining day shall be announced after this dance, I believe. The schedule? <laughs> I suppose I should be present to hear that at least. My musings are rewarded with a nod of agreement by the servant. What's your name, anyway? This is already the second time I've seen you, and I'm sure it won't be the last time if I'm here for... five days. <laughs> Looking a little pleasantly surprised at my question, the man tilts his head slightly. Guests do not usually inquire after the names of servants, but I am called Silas, sir. Silas, okay. Well, Silas, any way I might be able to convince you to lead me to my room after the schedule announcement? I offer him, I offer him my most winning smile. Or the most... Uh, or suck. Uh, no, blah, blah, blah. no, I didn't mean anything like that. I just wanted to turn any... Well, <laughs> regardless of your intention, sir, I am not supposed to leave the main hall until instructed. Fine. <laughs> that came up wrong, I guess. You never fail to impress with your social skills, Riven. Like a greased elephant skating on ice. Oh, here's the little girl, okay. Before I could skulk away to the ballroom to hide my shame, a high-pitched voice suddenly peals in the air. She seems so much smaller than I remember. <laughs> well, later, a little girl comes running up beside Silas. She's probably not older than ten and uh, cute as a button, but I could tell from the, her outfit that she's not a noble man's child. Something about her reminds me of someone, but I can't put my finger on you. Hello, Hazel. Is something the matter? I don't like staying in the kitchens by myself. It's so dark, and I always feel like someone's watching me. Clinging onto Silas's sleeve, she turns her large eyes in my direction. I can't blame you. Ever since I almost caught on fire during a visit to our manor's cook, I never liked kitchens either. Was that really a good story to tell to this girl? <laughs> okay, apparently so. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would be afraid if you almost got fire. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> she giggles a little, rocking on her toes. Well, at least I can make conversation with little girls. Wait, that's not something to be proud of. <laughs> No, I think that is a little bit. Stay here, Hazel. Wasn't your mother supposed to be there with you? 
She said she had to leave for a little while, but I had to stay put in the kitchen. I want to go see the pretty ladies and gentlemen dancing. I wish I could be as enthusiastic as you about it. <laughs> Hazel pleadingly pulls at Silas's arm, staring up at him. He grimaces, probably being torn in half by the puppy dog eyes and his sense of duty. I'm very sorry. Or and his sense of duty. The young gentleman here is free to enter the ballroom, you know. He might be willing to take you. Oh, you convincing bastard. <laughs> the hint of a smirk on his lips makes me wonder if he hadn't planned this from the start. Really? Would you take me, sir? Uh, I guess we have no choice. <sighs> Wait, doesn't he give her off to Arden? Feel like that? I think that's what happened to the demo! <laughs> well, I'd rather not become a permanent villain in this child mine. So I guess there's no helping it. Yeah, now we go back downstairs, shooting a venomous glare at Silas' beaming face. I shove my half empty glass at him to hold, grab Hazel's hand, and stalk gloomily glumly, blah, toward the stairs. The little girl goes quiet, but her sparkling eyes are full of ignorance. We head down to the lower floor, and I lead Hazel over to the huge ballroom doors. From inside, the sound of a fast-paced waltz mingled with many footsteps and peals of laughter reaches my ears. Let's just take a little peek, okay? Hazel enthusiastically nods in reply, so I reach out to pull open one of the doors slightly. And now I see everyone dancing. The dazzling shimmer of numerous whirling dresses first greets my eyes, all but blinding. See colorful, elegant figures swirl across the gleaming floor, waltzing time with the upbeat music. The light from the chandelier sparkles and glimmers, the moonbeams faintly stream in from the windows on the side. I can't help but watch the guests' gracefully, graceful movements for a few moments, admiring both the statis human that is Give me a minute. <laughs> status human and the beautiful clad women. Gosh, I suck at speaking. Uh, they make it look awfully pretty, I have to say. I suppose dancing isn't a bad thing to spectate. Still, so there's no way I'd ever enjoy being out there on the floor. Have you ever danced before, Hazel? Oh wait, is he going to dance with her? I'm. Pr mm. I really can't remember much of how the demo went at this point. To figure out what's supposed to happen next. Still, watching through the wide crack in the door, I wait for expected eager for the expected eager reply. Hazel. Oh, she disappeared. Oh. <gasps> that went by fast. That little prick. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would be a bad choice to just blurt out when I'm at the door. <laughs> uh, she might get in trouble. While my first instinct is to be annoyed, I admit I'm a bit worried about what will happen to the girl if she's found somewhere she's not supposed to be. An official event, a servant's daughter frolicking around in the ballroom, something that would probably be worn punishment for both the girl and her parents. <clears throat> Hazel certainly deserves <clears throat> a stern... Gosh, got a uh, stern talking to. But I don't want her to get in trouble. She'd definitely cry. Uh, getting too soft. This is the last damn time I ever play babysitter. <laughs> I'd imagine, though I doubt it's the last. I hastily search for Silas in the balcony above, but he's nowhere to be seen. What a bastard of a butler showing the responsibilities for looking after her on me. Sighing, I reluctantly step inside the ball room, managing to avoid any undue attention by sticking to the corners. 
more than half the guests are engaged in the lively waltz, with everyone else said Marion chatting from the sides. No heels over there or over there. Where on earth did she run off to? Oh, is that who I think it is? Nope. <coughs> dance with me after all. Nope. <laughs> oh no. This cut files like get any worse. No, no, I'm just here to watch you see. It's <laughs> coming towards me at an alarming speed. Escape route, escape route, where the hell did I go? Uh, excuse me, miss. I have to take him from you for a moment, I'm afraid. Arden! Just before the woman reaches out to me, a familiar shape steps between us. Oh, what a shame! Do come back soon! <laughs> Arden? Come with me over here for a moment, if you would, my friend. Uh, is he gonna explain about... Tazel? Uh, back little but relieved, I let Arden drape his arm around my shoulder and guide me in the direction of a relatively quiet corner. I don't want to run into him either, but if I had to choose the lesser of two evils, it'd probably be Arden. Thanks for that, I suppose. <laughs> I let out a low mutter while we walk, trying to not sound overly grateful so Arden doesn't take it as a cue to lash Onto me more. I had warn you, didn't I? Your being of marriageable age means you're bound to catch the eye of girls like that. But more importantly, did you finally change your mind and decide to come dance? Don't spout drivel, Arden. <laughs> I'm looking for a little girl. Is that any the wrong way? We reached the corner. Arden paused, guessing me curious and maybe a slightly suspicious. Yeah, I'd imagine you would. <laughs> uh, little girl. Do you have a cousin or something I don't know about? Oh, it's complicated. Either way, I'm guessing you haven't seen her. Arden shakes his head, and I let her sigh. Well, it's not my problem. I guess Hazel probably knows her way around. You're better than I do anyway. You have good timing, though. I think the announcement is about to begin. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, the schedule of festivities? Nodding, Arden points to the center of the ballroom floor, where the numerous couple are starting to drift away, and towards the corners make my, uh, making way for a face fast laid rest man with a scroll in a sand hole. Uh, yeah, can't do this. Okay. Just making sure everything's working fine. <laughs> um, okay. Music dies down gradually and comes to a stop. The chair uh, diminishes to quiet whispers. Arn keeps his arm hanging around my shoulder, and I find myself too tired to bother with shooting him off. Shooing him off. Not shooting him off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mess up a lot in this playthrough. <laughs> Esteemed ladies and gentlemen of the court. I was ready to speak, but never mind. <laughs> I really hope he keeps this short and sweet. Is anything in court affairs ever short and sweet? I mean, it's probably one or the other. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the first day of our gracious Royal Highness's birthday celebration festivities. His Majesty wishes to thank you all for your attendance. Why can't his royal birthday boy come out and thank us himself? Tomorrow will mark the beginning of the Spring Festival being held in His Majesty's honor. In the morning, the outdoor stores and shops shall open for you, and games shall be hosted for your enjoyment. The festival shall continue for three days. Afterwards, on the fourth and final day of the royal celebration, there shall be a grand masquerade, which all guests are expected to attend. I don't think you'll be able to get out of dancing in that one, <laughs> <laughs> his royal highness hopes his special guests enjoy the rest of their time at the castle estate and looks forward to joining you in merriment. Now, guests who wish to retire for the night may adjourn to their rooms upstairs. Our gracious maestro has agreed to several more songs for those who would delight in a little more dancing. As Duh. As delicate applause fills the ballroom, I quickly pull away from Arden's grip and clear my throat. Oh, that's my cue, I'm afraid. Perhaps I'll see you in the morning. 
Leaving me? Again? You're so horribly mean. <laughs> Banning Arden for the second time this evening, I gave him a lazy half bow before turning towards the doors. Wonder if Silas is the one who's supposed to explore his sewer rooms. If so, he's going to get the chewing out he sorely deserves. As some of the other guests and I returned to the main hall, however, where instead intended to buy sub dibs where instead tended to buy a host of other servants I haven't seen before. Slightly disappointed not to have a chance to punch that butler's face, I followed along as we led up another staircase to the second floor where most of the guests accommodate commandants accommodations seem to be. Blah, 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 blah. And we're gonna know you. My thanks. In the ha hallway, a polite maid opens the door to what are presumably my chambers for the duration of the celebration. She hands me the key before attending to the next guest, so I slip inside the room and shut the door behind me with a sigh of relief. The video might be slightly longer, because I want to get a certain part. Finally, a moment to breathe. I'd forgotten how incredibly exhausting this whole socializing business was. The room before me is a cozy one illuminated by a few candelabras. Candelabras? Candelabras? I like how there's a lot of words I've never seen. <laughs> or the fact that I just suck at speaking in general. <laughs> illuminated by a few candelabras. And the Auburn, Auburn flicker of the fireflies. The magnificent. <laughs> Kill me now. The magnificently sized bed looks more than a little inviting, as do the plush chairs nearby. I close my eyes and inhale the slightly smoky, dusty scent. I can practically vision myself back home. wander over to small doors, the back of the room, peering through the glass. Goodness, I even have a little balcony of my own? Suppose these guest rooms were probably made with spoiled nobility in mind. Pulling doors open, I step out curiously to the elegant terrace, gazing up the clear night sky. The wind ruffles through my hair, and I close my eyes for a moment to enjoy the cool sensation washing over me. Okay, I think now I need the video. I'm like, I don't want to make this four minutes long. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go with the like button. If you want to see more of what or what's going to happen next, go with the subscribe button. If you got anything to say, say so in the comments below. And if you're interested in the game by chance, even though I'm not gone that far, it's probably make it interesting enough. Uh, but still, uh, if you want to play this game yourself or maybe buy it or something, know more about it. Links are in the description for you guys to check out. Because I'm still very interested on in how this game's supposed to go. Because the demo basically left me off with a cliffhanger. So I want to know what's supposed to happen. So anyways, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Comrades. <laughs>